I've played a lot of tactical games now, or games that hover around realism, and if there's one thing that they all have in common, it's the fact that they take forever when it comes to reloading their weapons. It's literally a life or death situation when you're in the middle of a firefight, and you're trying your damnedest to get a clip or mag back into your weapon. It just takes forever. Like one thing that I always argue is where's the sense of urgency in these types of games? What's up everybody, Durag back at it again with another video, and if you're wondering if this is a re-upload, it is in a sense. The original video that got me the most views this channel has ever seen has been lost to copyright so it's gone forever but I still had the original audio and that's basically what I've been working off of so I can remake the video but the difference between this video and the original is that this one isn't as rushed as the previous one is I'm gonna include a lot of detail at the end now that my spiel's over let's get into it a while ago, a couple of people had commented on one of my videos saying that they weren't too fond of how fast the person in this clip had reloaded his mag. I just want to say really quick that this clip is dated by this point, so the reload animation can be subject to change. Personally, I thought that it was fine, but people were comparing it to Escape from Tarkov. So to get a reference, I decided to go into the game. Hopefully I don't die. Makes reference about DMCA. <clears throat> Alright, so here I am just firing off my uh, shots like a dumbass. Okay, yeah, so this guy reloads significantly slower than the one we've seen in the Ready or Not clip. So now I'm going to put him side by side. It's blatantly obvious to me that the Ready or Not clip is still faster than Escape from Tarkov's. To add context, the footage from EFT is of a scavenger. Scavengers are people who aren't really military type, or SWAT for that matter. They're basically people who like picked up a gun off the ground and they're like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna use this. The game itself doesn't use mocap, so... Wait, what? Escape from Tarkov apparently used motion capture to create realistic movements when the weapon is idle, removing jammed cartridges, being shot, or when the player is reloading. Huh. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's motion capture. And everywhere I look, I never see them using it for the game, only for the trailer that they made. Hmm. Anyway, the more you play, the more you level up your reloading skill. Moving on. The person that's in the Ready or Not clip is a part of a SWAT unit. This is someone who trains every day to the point that reloading becomes second nature. It's also worth noting that the developers have confirmed that he's wearing an open top vest. And this was done using motion capture with the real life SWAT officer. Now some could argue that in certain situations, things might not go as smoothly as one would like. Fear and being under pressure could change a person. But I feel like someone who is in SWAT or military knows that one mistake can be your last. So this is why their training is crucial and I'd imagine why they'd be doing this almost all the time. This is honestly why I think the reloading looks good in my book. It has a sense of urgency, something that not a whole lot of tactical games have. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love looking at the animation that a game has to offer, but when it comes to gameplay, I want to be as quick as possible. This is just something that's always bugged me. Why do tactical or realistic games take forever when it comes to reloading? Uh, the world might never know. Well, I just thought I would speak my mind. And uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye